Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Before we get started, please take a minute to click subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my latest investing and personal finance content. And please check out the link you see on your screen for a message from our sponsor, The Motley Fool, where you can get the top, top 10 stocks you buy right now. All right, so we'll start off with an easy question. Um, so number one, what is the earliest age you can claim Social Security retirement benefits? The answer is 62 years old. You can start collecting Social Security as early as age 62 or as late as age 70. Most people claim anywhere between age 62 and 65. Those are the most common claiming ages, but you can wait as long as age 70. So number two, let's get into a little bit tougher question now. What is your Social Security full retirement age? I'll give you a second to think about it. Most people, the most common answer given to this question is 65, but that is not correct. The correct answer is, it depends. Depending on the year you were born, your full retirement age can be anywhere from 66 to 67 years old. If you were born in 1960 or later, your full retirement age is 67 years old. Question number three, how much will your social security benefit be reduced if you decide to claim at 62 as early as possible compared with your full retirement age. All right, so let's see if you got this right. The answer is, if you claim at age 62, your social security benefit will be 30% lower than if you wait until full retirement age. There are a few reasons for that. Number one is your social security benefit is reduced every year or every month actually that you decide to claim early. It's the reasons for this are Social Security is designed to give you the same, roughly, the same total amount of benefit throughout your lifetime, regardless of when you claim. It's based on life expectancy. So if you claim at 62 as opposed to age 67, you'll be collecting for five more years. So that 30% reduction is designed so that the average person will still receive roughly the same amount of benefits, regardless when they claim. Question number four, can you work and collect Social Security at the same time? The short answer to this question is maybe. This, you can work. You can claim Social Security while you're working. There's nothing wrong with doing that. If you haven't reached your full retirement age and you won't until after the current year, your benefits can be withheld if you earn more than a certain amount. For 2023, the amount is a little over $21,000. So it's $21,240 in 2023, which works out to $1,770 a month. If you earn more than that, your benefits will be reduced at the rate of $1 for every $2 you earn in excess of that threshold. But it's worth pointing out that those benefits aren't necessarily lost. They are used to add, to increase your benefits once you actually do reach full retirement age. So if you are if you want to claim Social Security early but are worried that you might earn a little too much and your benefits might be reduced, that shouldn't necessarily be a limiting factor because if your benefits are reduced, it can help you out on the back end. So last but certainly not least, this is a kind of tough one. Number five, are Social Security benefits taxable as ordinary income? So Social Security benefits can be taxable. There, you've probably seen headlines about this. Social Security benefits can be subject to tax, but not as ordinary income. They're treated much more favorably. At the very most, 85% of your Social Security benefit can be treated as taxable income. For most people, it's much less than this. Without getting into the specifics, because this is a pretty short video, if Social Security is your primary source of income, you're very likely not going to owe any taxes on your Social Security income. If you have a lot of other income, let's say you have a large pension, let's say you have a, a large 401k and make regular withdrawals from it. If you have a lot of income after you retire, then some of your Social Security benefits can be taxable. Your income has to be pretty high for 85% of your Social Security benefits to be taxed. 
for most people, it is a significantly lower percentage than that. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick social security quiz and learned something in the process. Please click subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my latest personal finance and investing content. I do cover social security pretty often, and I would love to hear your any questions or comments you have. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe if you don't subscribe to my channel already. And as always, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Be sure to visit www.fool.com slash Frankel to receive the 10, top 10 best stocks to buy now.